You always want to keep the positive thoughts up front in your brain. Keep those negative thoughts away from the front. And only think about the things that will make you want to go forward. And not just stop. Because there have been times where I just wanted to stop everything. And not continue going on. My mom, she told me, you need to go on. You're fighting this for something. Which I believe I am, so I'm continuing to fight. I see cancer as, a, as an overall war. You'll start training, which may be your getting your chemo for the first time. Then you'll start recruitment, which is pretty much your family hearing that you just got diagnosed with cancer. Starting your small group towards the very end of it. And each time you get through training, it's kind of more people hear about you, so more people want to try and help you. And by the time you're to the end of it, the boss, otherwise cancer, in my situation, it's your army versus the one weak thing that's left. And you see so much strength behind you, could you see how many people want to sit there and support you? and you see something in front of you who has nothing behind it. And you think, I can do this. You're never alone going through anything. Because there's people who have fought it, are fighting it, or who will want to fight it with you. I was diagnosed with cancer on Christmas Eve at 10 after four in the year 2007. And during that time, I thought about children that were going through cancer. My oncologist told me that when a child goes through cancer, that it affects them 10 times more aggressively than it does an adult. They're in the prime of their life. They're in school. They have to stop school. They're away from their friends. They're pretty much isolated, really. The children that I've been blessed to be around they have wisdom way beyond their years because they've had a lot of time to think. They're ordinary children, yet with a life-threatening diagnosis that they live with every day. Some of them not knowing if they're gonna wake up tomorrow or not. Cancer is like being in a uh, boxing ring with boxing gloves on. Your body is fighting. And these kids are fighting. And these amazing doctors and nurses are helping them. It's time for something better than chemotherapy and radiation. It's time we have better treatment all the way around. They need stability when they're going through cancer, and some of them don't have that. We can have a cure for this evil thing called cancer. We just need to start demanding it. <laughs>